time we blow this scene Get everybody in the stuff together Okay, three, two, one, let's jam What's up guys? My name is Brendan and the trick of the week this week is the butterfly kick Today I'll be going over the origin of the trick the technique behind it some tips to improve your butterfly kick and finally the momentum step and how you can progress to the B twist so with all that said let's get started first I want to talk about the origin behind the butterfly kick and the butterfly kick is prominent in a ton of different martial arts disciplines but it's most seen in wushu in wushu athletes will use the butterfly kick to launch themselves into the air. And the butterfly kick gets its name not because you're performing a physical kick, but you're kicking your legs to launch yourself into that butterfly position with your arms back and your legs arch, almost like you were a butterfly in flight. That's where the butterfly kick gets its name. And if you wanna see the butterfly kick thrown with its most classical of technique, go watch some wushu athletes. Next, I want to go over the technique for performing the butterfly kick. And the butterfly kick is just a really fancy way of stepping over your body. Let me explain. The butterfly kick starts in a lunge position, facing away from the direction you normally twist. I normally twist to my left, so I start my lunge with my chest facing the right. Next, I perform the U dip, drawing a U with my head and dropping my chest horizontal to the ground. This is extremely important because while we perform the U dip, we're generating momentum for our butterfly kick. And once we get to the end of our U dip, we turn and we jump into that butterfly position, arching our back, pulling our arms to our sides, kicking our legs behind us, and arching our back. If we can get into that nice big butterfly position, all we have to do is just switch our legs to step down nice and easy. The butterfly kick is one of those tricks where it's easy to do bad, but it's really hard to do a good, clean, high and floaty butterfly kick. So now I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how you can improve this trick. Now I wanna give you some tips and drills to help you improve your butterfly kick. If you wanna one day progress to the butterfly twist, your butterfly kick is extremely important. And the better your butterfly kick, the easier it will be to then do the butterfly twist. So here are some tips and some drills on how you can get a nice, high, floaty butterfly kick. Tip number one, focus on improving your back flexibility. When it comes to the butterfly kick, your back flexibility is extremely important. In the middle of the butterfly kick, at the apex of the skill, you want your back to be super arched, just like it would be for a bridge. So if you wanna improve your back flexibility, so that way you can have a better position at the apex of your butterfly kick, do a ton of bridges and stretch out your back. Tip number two, condition using airplane jumps. The airplane jump is a great drill for training the jump in the butterfly kick. To do an airplane jump, you just squat down on the ground in that nice deep lunge, and then you jump just like you would for a butterfly kick. If you want to get height when you're performing that butterfly kick, you need to build the muscles to help. And to do that, you can just do a ton of airplane jumps. And once the airplane jump feels comfortable, you can do a great butterfly kick drill, which is the airplane jump switch. So that way you can get comfortable hitting that middle position of the butterfly kick while also training the switch. So that way you can step down nice and easy. Tip number three is to build your static strength by doing the butterfly hold. The butterfly hold is one of my favorite drills. To do it, it's pretty easy to explain. You just lay on your stomach and then you get into the butterfly position, holding it for as long as possible, arching your back and bringing your arms and legs off the ground. If you can have good static strength, you'll be able to hold an amazing position in the middle of your butterfly kick. 
Like I said earlier, the butterfly kick is an easy trick to do, but a hard trick to do well. And if you wanna do this trick well, you need to hit that butterfly position. And one of the best ways you can train that is to just do the butterfly hold right on the ground. Next, I wanna go over the momentum step so that way you guys can get more height out of your butterfly kick. The momentum step is pretty easy to explain. You just do two big steps before entering your butterfly kick. You start in a backside stance with your chest facing the opposite way that it normally twists. From there, you take one step forward with your right leg if you twist to your left like me, and then you take a massive step with your left. As you do this step, you wanna end in that same lunge that we started our butterfly kick. And from this lunge position, you perform the U dip, blocking off that front leg to get a ton of height. If you're able to get a lot of momentum in your momentum step, and then you're able to block it, you'll be able to take that horizontal momentum and convert it into vertical momentum, pushing your butterfly kick way up in the air. So if you want a good butterfly kick and you wanna get a little bit extra height, practice the momentum step. Not only that, but the momentum step will give you more power so that way you can eventually progress to the B twist. Finally, I wanna talk briefly about the progression to the butterfly twist. The butterfly twist is gonna be the trick of the week for next week. But before I go through all of that, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of the butterfly kick. The butterfly kick is the set for the butterfly twist. What I mean by set is the butterfly kick is how you jump in the air. It's how you generate the momentum you need to then do the twist and land back on your feet. If you don't have a good solid butterfly kick, you're gonna really struggle when learning the butterfly twist. So before I go over all of that, go work your B kick. Make sure your butterfly kick is strong, solid, high and floaty, and only then should you go and progress to the butterfly twist. But I'll go over all of that next week. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and come back again to see me go over butterfly twist as next week's trick of the week. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to all the patrons of Mastering Tricking. If you guys don't know, this project, this channel is funded in part by donations from viewers just like you. So if you wanna be a part of the Mastering Tricking community, get direct access to me, discount codes, and a ton of other rewards, please check out my Patreon. Not only that, but you guys supporting means I can make more videos just like this. Thank you again and have a lovely day.